and welcome to um, our fifth video in our um, uh, in our Xcode 7 iOS 9 series in YouTube. In this video, we're going to learn how to make a currency converter. I'm just going to show you the app right now. Or just open the simulator. Recent items and just find the simulator, which should be right here. And um, or just gonna wait for it to load. And the app is called Currency Converter. And this is what the app is gonna look like. Not the blank screen, but it's just loading and wait for it to load. Okay, oh, there. So you can convert to four currencies. Um, Chinese Yuan, Euros, English Pounds, and Yen, which is a Japanese currency. You're gonna, you can convert from US dollars to um, yen, euros, English pounds, or yen. I'm just gonna type in like $12. And we're gonna convert it to euros. And if 11.04 euros, let's try English pounds, 7.8, 1,457 yen, and it is 76.08 yen. So that's basically how the app's gonna work. Um, what it does is it takes this number and multiplies it by the currency, um, uh, the currency like amount that, so, for example, it's multiplying yen by zero point. I mean six point three four, and if you round that to six, twelve times six is seventy two. So it's giving us a pretty good estimate right here. Let's get started by opening the Xcode and create a new Xcode project. It's going to be a single view application and we're going to call it currency converter tutorial. You can call it whatever you want, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to call it like that. Just call it like that. And it's going to be Swift and iPhone and I'm just going to save mine on the desktop. We're going to go to main.storyboard and the first thing we're going to do is drag on a second mechan segmented control which was the thing you saw in the simulator when I first showed you the app and you can just I'm just gonna make it really long and we're gonna set the number of segments to be four the fir title first one is going to be called UN the title of the second one is going to be called euros the third one is going to be English pounds if you want to, I'm just going to put in, in pounds or LB. It'd be okay. Because then it's not going to, it's not all the text is going to show up. And then this one will, oh, I forgot to press enter. As you remember, to change it, you have to actually press enter. And then the third one will be yen. Now let's go and drag on a text field. And just put it right, right smack dab in the middle. We're just going to make it nice and big, nice and wide. And we will put in a button. And the button's going to say convert. And then we're going to put on a label right here. And it's just going to say label right now. And we're just going to make it pretty big and pretty wide. And center align the text. We're going to set the number of lines to like 5, for example. And then we are going to add missing constraints. Now let's go to, let's open the assistant editor. Close off this document outline. And close off the file navigator and the utilities editor. First, we're going to create an action for the um, uh, UI segment con segmented control. It's going to be action, and the type is actually going to be UI segmented control. And we're going to call it um, cur currency. And our text field will have an outlet right here, which is going to be called uh, US 
USD amount and convert will have an ID action called convert and the label will have an outlet which is going to be called label because we just want to keep it simple and then um, let's close off the system editor open back um, the file navigator and the um, utilities editor and if you to load we're going to say label dot text equals nothing because you don't want the label to show anything on the in the beginning and then um, we're going to create a variable called currency num so this this is going to be the the um we have four currencies the first the for the for, for the first currency which is yuan it's number is currency num it's, the currency number is going to be zero for um euros it's going to be one for english pounds it's going to be two and for yen it's going to be three that's going to help us here when we convert in currency we're going to have a switch to statement switch and it's going to be sender dot selected segment index and for case we're gonna have case zero break default break and we're gonna make the rest right now we can copy that paste it four times so this will be one, this will be two, and this will be three. And in case zero, we're going to say currency num equals zero. And here we're going to say currency num equals one. Not. And then, um, sorry, but this is a little error that sometimes occurs in the editor where everything goes bl black because Xcode has a functionality where it's, okay, it's happening a lot today, but don't really worry about it. Just focus on what I am typing right now. So as you can see, and then, um, let's go to convert. And we're going to create a variable called uh, num and we're going to say equal to int parentheses um, us d amount dot text exclamation mark and we're going to have a switch statement that says switch um, currency num and we're, we're going to have Again, we're going to have um, four cases. So let's copy this. Paste it a few more times. And in case zero, we're going to create a variable called uh, converted num. I'm going to set it equal to um, num times the, um, the currency amount. And for case zero, it's going to be yuan. So what we can do is you can go, we can go to Chrome and we're going to go. So we're going to say US1 USD2, let's say yuan. And that is about 6.34. Let's go back to Xcode and we're going to say times 6.34. And you can't do this because this is an int. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in parentheses. So double parentheses num. And what this is essentially doing is it's converting num to a double. And... Um, And we're gonna, we have to, 
it, it's it has to be like um you have to <coughs> um unwrap it using the exclamation mark and in objective c this wasn't there but in swift it has it but swift is i think it, i think it's better than objective c because objective c takes up a little more space on your computer and um object swift is faster and then we're going to say label dot text equals uh, num usd is um, convert backslash parentheses converted num un and we can just copy this and paste it in each one of these and let's search up euros Zero point nine two. So this is times zero point nine two. This is um, the rows. And um, this is English pound. And for for the text, we can write out the whole thing because. Um, you can actually see the whole thing because the label is big and you can display multiple lines on the label. This one will be yen. And let's search up English pound. Zero point six six. Oh. <laughs> so 0.66. And then we will um <laughs> One USD to Japanese yen, one point one point seven five. That's really big. So, it's so like if you were to buy a sandwich in Jap Japan, it's gonna cost like five hundred yen, which is really funny <laughs> to me. And um, let's just fix these because it doesn't really matter. And then um, we can run. Let's wait for it. And as you can see, the sex feels sort of big, but because of constraints, but um, just deal with it. <laughs> so I'm gonna type in twelve dollars again. As you remember, it was seventy six point oh eight. Hit convert, and it works. Eleven point oh four, some point nine two, and one thousand six one four six one. <laughs> so this app is another success, and um, in the next video, we are going to be learning how to make a, a taking notes app which is um, like a to-do list, I would say. So guys, thank you guys for watching and I hope you see you in my sixth video. Bye-bye.